The burning of Black Wall Street lasted two days in 1921. A white mob torched the prosperous black community of Greenwood, murdering dozens of residents, robbing them of their lives and livelihoods. Thousands of black Tulsans were arrested and held for weeks. I describe the massacre as the worst single incident of racial violence in American history. For the past 45 years, historian Scott Ellsworth has worked to expose the Tulsa race massacre, an atrocity wiped from the history books and rarely spoken about, even by survivors. And the question is, why haven't I heard of this before? And the reason was that for a long time, people made sure that you weren't going to hear about it. No one has ever been held accountable. The death toll of 300 is still just an estimate. I'm a survivor of the Tulsa race massacre. Survivors like 107-year-old Viola Fletcher have begun to tell their stories as they plead for a formal reckoning. I hear the screams. I have lived through the massacre every day. Our country may forget this history, but I cannot. These charred pennies, collected by a five-year-old survivor named George Monroe, are a relic of the destruction the mob brought and a reminder of the wealth that was destroyed. 100 years later, Greenwood is still a shadow of what it once was. A new generation of entrepreneurs is pushing for reparations and restoration. If the land was deeded back to people that had some tie, uh, I think that would be the, the easiest way to start to repair uh, the atrocities of the past. The recent discovery of mass graves shows there's still so much to account for. Dozens of suspected victims were buried anonymously at sites across Tulsa. I mean, these are murder victims. These are, these are massacre victims right here. It's unlikely that all will be identified, but they will, for the first time, be acknowledged as Tulsa seeks to heal and as Americans learn about their own hidden history. Jackson Prosco, Global News, Washington.